Elections have come and gone in Nigeria, but many voters are still unsatisfied with the outcomes. Many times, those who represent them in governance do not carry them along, or the electorate themselves don't even know how to assert themselves. Year in, year out, the electorate keep asking for better representation from those they vote for as public office holders. Is this too much to ask for? How can the people at the grassroots be better represented and involved? Well, uh, these are questions begging for answers. To look at this and other issues on the prime time list tonight is Honorable Kenide Bamik Beto. He's a former commissioner for information in Lagos and an aspiring Oshodi Solo federal constituency at the House of Representatives under the APC. He's live with us in the studio. Thanks for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you very much evening. for coming. You, you have had your time in public office, uh, prominently uh, for that matter, and you're still an aspirant. You want to represent your people at the Federal House of Representatives. So, so we, we're beginning to look at uh, how public office holders have fared in past elections and how well they've carried the people along. Um, we're having a conversation the other time, and you, you said to me, that is it that the, the, the public office holders do not carry the people along, or the people themselves do not know how to assert themselves. So wh which way do we go? Well, <clears throat> democracy is about the people. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is very clear yeah. that we, the people, came together to have this constitution for ourselves. Mm. It's based on that constitution that people join parties to be elected. Mm. And so the Concepts of popular sovereignty, the power ultimately is with the people, must always be asserted. But this concept cannot be arrogated to a set of people, you know, for four years or for, for a long time. The people must always be conscious of the fact that they own the power over their people and they must always call them to account every minute, every time for the period, for the mandate that they have been given. Now, this is where we have problems, essentially, in people asserting their control over their representatives. The Constitution has been very, very elaborate in providing even for recall, that you can recall your representatives if they are not serving you well. But when it comes to people organizing themselves to take control of their representatives, we see a lot of failures. The Nigerian democracy is still very, very young, so we should be ready to test it to experiment with it, to initiate measures to make it more democratic, more popular democratic in content. Mm. That is what we are not having. What we have had so far is what we call civil rule. We are yet to have democracy. Mm. Democracy is one where the power of the people over their representatives is obvious. You know, it's a daily routine. It's a cultural thing, you know, and until we get to that place, that's when we say we truly have a democracy. So for now, we need to make that democracy. We need to cook the food. We need to cook the meal. Mm. And in doing so, we can't just be spectators. You know? We need to go out there and assert our rights. So right. okay. each time students, you know, each time work, working class, each time traders ex <clears throat> assert themselves, you know, uh, either, either they demonstrate or voice their opinions, they are helping us to build that democracy, you know? And therefore, we also require people who are representing us to respond to these moves. Okay, now... So, um, so, so it's a two-way thing. Two-way thing. Know? But now. the people who should initiate are the owners of the mandate, the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm happy you mentioned uh, popular sovereignty. These are enshrined in Chapter 2 of the 1999 Constitution, yeah. anyway, yeah. Uh, as amended in 2011. Uh, now... Uh, I'll come back to civil rule as against democracy later. But now, popular sovereignty, power belongs ultimately to the people. Chapter 2 of the 1999 Constitution. I'm aware of that. Uh, but let me, let me bring it down. Uh, we, we need to better involve the people at the grassroots in democracy, as you uh, also agree with me, that uh, the people need to assert themselves. But there's this disconnect, usually, when, um, and I want to know why, when the electorate voting someone like you 
a member of the House of Representatives or a senator. And then in an attempt to assert themselves, they, they now begin to uh, attempt to establish a communication line with them. They have complaints in their constituencies. They have um, issues in their areas, in their, in their uh, local environment. And they want to communicate this to the people that are up there in Abuja who are representing them. But they can't even call them. They call time and again. It keeps ringing. They don't pick their course again. They don't want to talk to them again. The same people they came to like this that pushed them into power when they were saying, I want to be there for you. Push me there. They can't talk to them again. Drive me there. Now they can talk to them. What would someone like you do differently? We are not organizing enough. That's what I'm saying. We are not organizing enough. We are not holding the power enough. And what people like me, the difference we offer is that because we recognize this fact, we work to empower people the more. How do you want to work I'll, I'll as a example. president? Let, let's bring I'll, I'll, I'll it to you. Example. I'll give you an example. Okay. I was chairman of a local government. Okay. Right? Which and local government? Ijibu SCDA. Okay. Ijibu ah, Haj. And I made it a rule that every month I would go word by word and give an account of how I spent money every month. You know, that was novel. You know? But yeah, that basically was to let people understand that you have a right to know how the people you put how, how they spend your money. And it doesn't have to wait till a year. You could do it every other month and you could ask questions. Now, there are what we call community development associations. I, will, I made sure that I will go around the CDAs regularly. I will tour the CDAs regularly. In fact, I increased the CDAs from 15 to 75 so that you could see the power being moved in the grassroots level. So, if you don't create those structures and if you don't encourage those structures to assert themselves, you will not have democracy. You have civil rule. Yeah. Okay? You will elect people who don't bother about you, who don't care about you, you know, who give you money when elections come. Are you, you still know? in touch with those um, with the LCDAs as, as of that's today? That's where I live. That's where I live. So it's, um, it's live. I mean, that's where I go to. In, so in, since in you live there, you, you have a uh, working relationship with them. You have yeah, a practical interaction with them from time to time. Start from your from your street. You from see your what the feel. You, know? you see what the see. You live what the so live. That's it. You know? So if you find somebody, you put somebody in power. You don't meet the children. You know, uh, in any in any stores. You don't meet him at the filling stations. You know, uh, you don't you don't see him around for quite a long time. And he comes back and he says, "You elect me." You should be asking questions. You should be asking, "Where have you been all this while?" You know, mm -hmm. why haven't we seen, why haven't you, we felt your touch, you know? How come our complaints are not being answered to, you know? So these are EUs, and so I'm saying that the major challenge of our current civil dispensation is that we are not organizing enough, we are not asking questions enough, we are not active enough. And only a very active citizenry that can mold a responsive and responsible democracy, you know? So that's where we are. You know, and, 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 our, and we are still very young doing it, so we should not stop asking questions. We should not stop trying to put people we put into power to respond to our needs, you know, to engage us, to converse with us. You know. We are so happy today that the mass media, the social media, the media of communications have become so widened that nobody has any excuse for not communicating and creating conversations. So we think that for now, let people be more active. And the more you are active, the more you engage, you know, when people who you put into power, when they come back, then you can use your ultimate power, which is the power of the balance, to determine their fates. Are you aware, Honorable, are you aware that uh, some people at the grassroots have to many times pay their way through to the uh, National Assembly before they get certain bills passed? But or sponsored see, before they get certain bills sponsored. You see, the point basically is this. <clears throat> the process of getting laws passed is quite a lot. There are interest groups, for example, mm -hmm. who, for example, want to have a bill or a law that protects their profession or protects their business. You know? If they put resources behind it, you may not be able to fault them because they have a specific you know, reason. But when you're talking of bills that have to do with the rights of the common man, mm -hmm. you know, that should not involve, you know, uh, pushing funds. That should be obvious. I mean, the right of a child, for example, to education should be obvious. 
We don't need to push money behind that. But I'm saying that the, the lobbying process, as established all over the world, you know, involves a lot of resources. And, okay. and basically, the big interests, you know, where they want laws that can conduce with their environment, tends to push it. But I believe, I, I believe that ultimately what we need is a citizenry that holds the people that are supposed to power accountable. accountable. Thank you very much for your time on our yeah. prime time news. We hope, we, we sincerely hope, because many of them sound like this before they get there, only for them to get there and then <laughs> break every bridge. Yeah, we, 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 started every long, we started from the Southern Union to labor to oh, where we are I now. See. So it's a long history, and I've never failed anybody. I see. Okay, I can. what's left uh, is for me to wish you all the best in, in your uh, political aspirations. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.